Why is Fariba Adelka being moved away from house arrest into prison now? Does it have anything to do with talks over the nuclear deal? Well, that's exactly the question that we are asking now and exactly the elements that we would like to know right now. Uh, we, we were informed yesterday morning by Fariba's lawyer that uh, she had been sent back to, uh, to Evin and that came really as a shock and as a surprise as we didn't know we had no warning, no element uh, that could let us think that this would happen. So... So far, unfortunately, we, we've had no information, no explanation about what was uh, what is going going on now, uh, about the reasons of uh, of this move, and of course, uh, this is. Um, as much the, the surprise as also the, the, the in indignation, the anger that, uh, that um, motivates us now because uh, um, Fariba has been in the middle of this game for two years and a half now. Uh, sh this is really a very cynical game played by the Iranian authorities uh, for internal or external purposes that have nothing to do with Fariba's work or Fariba's activities. So, of course, we call for uh, immediate and unconditional release uh, and we we hope that she's fine but uh, we are now uh, really waiting for more information about her situation and where she is incarcerated in Evin as you know that there are different parts in Evin so yes we, we're still really uh, we really um, we are really uh, waiting for for more information about all these very, um, very absurd um, uh, event that is happening now. Sandrine, when was the last time that you or any of the other members of the support committee were able to hear from or contact uh, uh, Fariba? And and how how did she seem if that was recently? Well, we we only have information uh, via her lawyer. Uh, of course, Fariba, you, as you know, is a very strong woman. So I guess that uh, she will go through this with a, a very um, with a very uh, strong attitude. But this is also um, a very tiring experience. Uh, this has been very long, and um, she doesn't know uh, what to expect. So this is really this clarification, these explanations that we need now. Sandrine, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us. You are a member of the support committee for the release of Fariba Adelka.